Welcome, my friends. This is an upper body and core workout with an emphasis on working those muscles that keep that posture on point. Before we get started, we're giving away one free month to our follow along program called Guided. Guided is a program made up of follow alongs just like this one with a new follow along to do every day of the week. If you want to enter to win, head on over to Instagram, go to at the strength side, find this picture on the screen right here, tag a friend and comment why you love strength side follow along routines. Hey, I hope that you win. Okay, guys, you ready to get into this? You ready to work them shoulders, chest, back, core, just about everything. We might even sneak some mobility in. Let's get started. Begin by bending over and circle your arms backwards. Now try to get your torso about parallel to the ground here and try to think about moving through the shoulder blades. I want the muscles between the shoulder blades to really feel it here. You can switch directions. We're gonna do about 10 in each direction. And I try to keep my thumbs facing upwards. That drives external rotation of the shoulder, which the shoulder is really like. So go ahead and relax. You can reach down here stretch out the back stretch out the hamstrings and then come down on your knees now we're gonna rock forward on the wrists here so as you can see my shoulders move behind my hands and then I'm moving them in front of the hands and as you do that you should feel a stretch in the forearms keep the elbows straight and every time you do this workout see if you can gain a little bit more range of motion Let's go ahead and switch the hands around so the fingers point towards your knees now. And we're gonna do the same rocking motion, but now the stretched portion of this will be as you rock back. And as your shoulders come further behind the fingers, you'll feel the bottom side of your forearms really open up. And you can circle like I am here as well. And this just kind of gets some more rotation in there to the wrists and the forearms. Excellent. You can hop up, shake those wrists out, prepare yourself to get to the real work because we're going to start with a push up to pike. So if you can't do a full push up, you're going to do an eccentric, lowering yourself down, touch the belly down and push yourself up through your knees. Now, if you can do a full push up, we're going to lower down under control. You're going to push yourself up and then you're going to press back into a downward dog pike position. We come back to our plank, lower down for the push up. As you press down into downward dog, really feel the shoulders drive your chest towards your knees. We're focusing on driving the shoulders into an overhead position and really pushing the ground away. And throughout the push up, I want you to put a big focus on keeping your core tight, resisting the urge to arch your lower back, and at the same time, trying to open the chest as you get to that bottom position. The perfect push-up is going to open up the chest and allow it to expand, and then it's going to contract hard to push yourself back up. Awesome job guys. On this last rep, I want you to slowly creep your feet up and then I want you to push your hands back. See how close you can get those hands to the feet. You can stand up, you can feel good about yourself. And let's not take too much time. We'll hop right back into it. And as I, you know, struggle to find which way I wanna position myself for the camera, we are going to do some kneeling angels. Begin on your knees and reach your arms behind you, opening up the chest. Now you'll raise the arms to an overhead position and try to keep the hands behind your shoulders the whole time. Take these slow and controlled and keeping the hands as far behind you as possible trains the rotator cuff and scapular muscles. Keep your rib cage stacked and don't arch your lower back too much. As you do these, you should be feeling the area between your shoulder blades and behind the shoulder really light up. Let's do three more reps. Exercises like these are the ones that most of us skip out on and we wanna go straight for the push-ups and the pull-ups. But if we're not 
giving the love to our shoulders like these are, then a lot of the time that's when we develop the imbalances and get the rounded shoulder look and bad posture going on. So feel good that you're doing something great for your body. And now what's going on here? The guy just walks out the camera. Cop just told me that I need to leave, but he was super nice and he was like, hey man, finish up your workout and then go ahead and get out of here because we're trying to limit the usage of the park. So kind of a bummer, but at the same time, really nice of him to let me keep going. Let's get back to this then. So we move into our first core exercise and all these core exercises are putting a big emphasis on getting the shoulders and hips to move correctly on a neutral spine. So tuck your knees up above your hips. The arms will stay straight up above the shoulders and then you'll drop the arms down to the ground, keeping your elbows straight. Now, if you want more intensity, extend the legs as well. This is going to be a lot more challenging. Notice that my lower back stays flat to the ground. We're not doing this with an arched back. Keeping the back down ensures that those core muscles will be lit up and working correctly. Think about fluid movement from the shoulders and the hips here. Last rep, make it a good one and relax. Those are killer, good job. Stand up, shake that off a little bit. You've completed one round through this workout. How's that feel? I'm guessing it feels pretty good because we're working on strengthening the body through full range of motion, which promotes optimal health of all of your joints. So we're gonna hop back into the bent over shoulder circles. Now that you're warmed up, see if you can really feel those shoulder blades moving. Keep the thumbs driving up and circle those arms. Go ahead and switch directions. Excellent, go ahead and relax. You can stretch on down, touch the floor if you want. And now we're moving back into our push-up to pike. Now, because you've already done these once, I really want you to turn up the intensity here. Make that push-up as controlled as possible. Don't drop down. Control yourself down and then really explode on the way up. Press yourself up, press yourself back. And as you press back, feel your chest open. And as we do these reps, I'll tell you a little secret. Since this workout, I've been back to this tennis court quite a bit of times, and I'm glad that they're leaving the gate open and not locking it. I think that as we can't have any social interaction right now, it's really important that you get yourself outside, whether that's in your backyard or at a local park. Of course, we're all respecting the social distancing rules and regulations but to be outside getting sun on your skin and to be in nature is really important right now for your mental well-being that's our last rep and we got a little finisher here now so i want you to walk the hands up as close to the feet as you can get them and then walk your hands back out until you're in a plank position I believe they call this an inchworm. I want you to focus on really pushing the ground away, trying to keep your shoulder blades protracted to the sides of your rib cage. What I really like about these is we're training the shoulders to push the ground away here, while we're also training some pike position of your hips and getting some hamstring stretching at the same time. Active mobility is the best mobility. Now that was a pretty intense combo right there. So I'm gonna give you about 30 seconds break. Relax, deepen your breath, connect to the breath. And if you need to pause the video and take a little bit longer break, that's completely fine. In fact, why don't you pause the video, take an extra second, like the video, give that thumbs up, and comment below if you're feeling good. Our next back movement is a bent over row WT. So you bend over, I want you to pull the elbows 
directly back like you're rowing to the side of your torso. Now you'll lift the hands and try to bring the hands to shoulder level, and then you extend the hands out to a T position. Once again, this is to strengthen all those muscles that sometimes don't get worked. So really put a big emphasis on trying to drive external rotation of your shoulder, trying to feel the muscles between your shoulder blades and behind that shoulder joint. Don't just go through the motions here. Really feel this movement and know that it's doing really good things for your body. This is our final repetition. Squeeze those muscles and relax. Good. Amazing that such a simple basic exercise with just your body weight can really fatigue all those muscles behind your shoulders. But that's what we do here at Strength Side. We use those exercises that are going to give you a large bang for your buck. And now we move into our core exercise. So remember, the lower back stays flat to the ground. You can just move the arms if moving the legs is too intense for you. Focus on keeping that rib cage pulled down. If you're ready for the legs, let's go ahead and extend the knees. Get those legs as low to the ground as you can. I want you to feel the burn throughout your core, but I want you to uh, like that burn. This is a good burn. You can actually adjust your mindset to like these things that are hard for the body. On this last rep, I want you to pause in the extended position. Five to 10 seconds, let's hold. Awesome job, guys. Those are such a killer. But man, they really will make your body work better. It's amazing how strengthening your core and getting your spine to uh, stabilize and be in alignment just makes all the other joints work much better. The shoulders, the hips, the knees, the ankles, the elbows, the wrists, the neck, everything starts to align itself and come together. I hope you're feeling as good as I am right now. My guided members get to go through one more round with me. If you are feeling pretty good and you're up to it, rewind this video and do another round. Do not forget to enter to win one free month of Guided. And if you know you want to hang out with me on the daily, listening to these smooth tunes, doing some smooth movements, head on over to strengthsideguided.com and sign up. I'm going to show you guys the shenanigans I got up to after this workout. You know, it's crazy because I was about to not jump in this river. And then I realized I'm alive. I should be in this river. That was the best decision I've made. Oh, I feel good. I feel alive. I don't know if you got it on camera, but there were some geese over there with some babies. That was pretty epic. Wow. All right, now I gotta dry off and ride home. Dude, I feel so good after that cold water. That cold exposure, man. 
it does something to you. I feel free. Yeah, I feel hella free right now. I feel hella alive, present. I feel all the good things, you know what I mean? But not too good, not too good, just, just medium. Just pretty, no, nah, not pretty good. You know, well, I feel good, I feel good. <laughs>